hello guys welcome to another video thank you so much guys for watching i really appreciate you so much for always being here for me watching my video i say may god bless you and if you're watching me for the first time thanks so much for stopping by so make yourself comfortable if you haven't subscribed please just hit the red subscribe button down below and you put on your notification post so that each time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. And you will also be the first to watch. If you're my returning, oh God, I love you so much. For me to you is love. So, I have something beautiful today and very simple. If Jackie say it's simple, it means it's simple. So you see these two beautiful material here, standing here, we are going to make something just simple just simple okay we're making a double circle uh, uh, flare top okay so i have my two yeah two meters of material i'm used to with material so i mean i'm used to with metal so i always like metals not yet yet is small so so we also need uh, some body size from the top you see oh you see the top is so beautiful right so We'll just be taking the size just at the upper breast, not at the breast level, not the breast level, at the upper breast. So this is how we'll be taking it, okay? Yeah, so if you're making it for your customer, that's how you have to take it for your customer. So here I have 34, and you also see that it doesn't have a sleeve, it has but just a stripe. So you put your tape like this, so for me, so I'll be taking off six, okay? So six will be for me, then plus one inch is going to be seven. That is six in the front and six at the back. So is 12 plus one inch will make 13. So let's just get started. So I will be cutting this one first. Then when I cut this one, I will place on this one because this one is going to be the longer one, just as you see the, the pattern. This, this is going to be the longer one and this is going to serve as the shorter one. So I'll cut the shorter one first, then I place on the longer one, just extend the, the length. So now I'm going to place my material on the table. You see, so I have to fold it in the fold because it has no join, okay? This blouse has no join. So I will turn it like this. You see, this is into two, then I'll fold it again. So I've placed, you see the way I fold it, you see, into four, because it has no, no joint. So we'll be dividing our radius. So the post is 30, 34 divided by 6.28. So I have 5.41. So I'm going to be placing my 5.41 like this. This is, I place my 5.31. But the length of the blouse, I'll be taking it, uh, the, the first one, I'll take it 10 plus 1 inch, making it 11. After my uh, 5.41, you see, I, I mark it here. So I'll also do it at this other side, 5.41, I mark it there. So, and I'll also take my 10, 10, uh, that is 10 is for the um, uh, the length, then one inch for seam allowance, okay? So I'll just go ahead and I will not circle it, I'll just take it straight. I'll just take it straight. You see that? I hope you can see my chalk. Then from here now, I'll be taking the 11 inches. So, I'm just going to... You see that? 
so i will just go ahead and cut it i will first of all cut it from, from here So I'll take this one and place on the other one to remove the inner part. So guys, here is the next material. You have to fold it the same and you have to fold it at the wrong side. So what I'm going to do now, I'll just place this one. Okay. You see that? I'll just place on top of it and make sure everything is okay like this. Then I'm just going to add 7 inch from here. I will add 7 inch. Like this. So I will mark there. So from here now, I will just go with 7 inch all around. Like that. I don't even know where my white, my white, my white chalk is. I don't know if you can see that. I'm supposed to do this with the white chalk. I cannot forget here. Okay, this is my seven. You can see it. So I'm just going to cast the circle. Then I will cut it. I'll first of all cut it here like this. Then I just remove the circle. Okay. I'm done cutting it. You see, I pin this down because this is satin. It's very slippy. So. Remember our boss is 34, so we we'll remember we will measure all this. Let's just measure it and see what we have. If it's equal to the upper boss, so I have 17, just with point something, not too much. So you see now that it's just equal to the boss. So now I'll be cutting the stripe. Okay, so of course cut off the strike. Remember. The front side is 6, the back side is 6, so 6 plus 6 gives us 13, so I cut 13, that is 6 plus 6 gives us 12 plus 1 inch seam allowance, okay? So then the whiteness, I took 3 yeah. so I cut three. so the next thing now is I'm going to fold it like this, I'm going to fold it like this, you see? I'm going to fold it like this, then I stitch it. So guys, here, here is the strike. I've already sewed it. Okay, now the next thing is I'll be putting this one in the middle. Because this one is big, so I'll be putting this one inside. You see? So guys, I've placed it. You can see how it look. Don't mind this material. This material was not really like one meter. It was just a small material, but I wanted to come out with something, okay? So you can see. I, I put the big one inside and the small one on top. So you can see this is the back side of the small one and this is a good side. So it means that the good the back side fall on top of the good side. You always see me with this is for my pin so that I will use it to pin my dress. So okay now I need to find the midpoint in order for us to put our stripe. So I will just go ahead and measure what I have here. To get the midpoint so I'll just measure it like this so we got 17 so half of 17 is what eight and a half so I'm going to mark my eight and a half here like this this is my eight and a half then from this eight and a half so I will come back by four and a half so I'll mark my four and a half here to, to put my strike okay to put the this so in this other side i'm also going to mark four and a half like that so now is to fit this one so i'm going to place this i will place it like this okay from this four and a half then i'll also bring this one let me bring it right to the camera so that you see what i'm doing you see how i'm placing it then i'll put my hand at the bottom part i'll bring it like this 
and I'll also bring this one like this that is I'm going to do that half inch let me just pin this one down you see how you fall okay here is my pin sorry so I'll pin it so I'll also do it at the back of it like this I place it look at I place it like this then I turn it this way you see I'll pin it then let's see how it look so I'll also do it for the other side okay you can just see the outcome of the blouse coming out nicely you see this is how it's going to look so I'll also do it at this side then I will sew it round by a half inch then after that I will just fold this under I just want it a little bit because this one is like a little bit short then we added half one inch for this so I'll fold it one inch at the bottom part like that so I'll just fold it like this for all of them like that round guys look at it okay just take a good look at it okay guys thanks so much i really appreciate so we have come to the end of our video you can see this is how our blouse is looking like don't forget to subscribe comment and share please the highest support you can give me is by sharing my videos okay i really thanks so much thank you god bless you for always staying here with me for always watching my video i really really appreciate that thanks so much you will see me in my next video or i will see you in my next video for me yeah is bye bye